Hello again. Today we're talking about electrolytic cells. These are cells with a negative cell potential. Okay, so this means that energy must be added from a power supply to make them operate. So clearly these aren't cells we use for electricity because we have to provide electricity to make them work. Some applications of electrolytic cells are they're used to refine metals. Uh, they can be used to protect metals from corrosion. We'll see that later. And they can be used to plate metals. Okay, we call that electroplating, and we'll see that later as well. All right, I want to move into an example now. I want us to consider a cell that has two copper electrodes just sitting in a solution of iron two ions. We're going to determine the reaction at the anode and the cathode and the overall cell potential. Okay, so this will be a different looking cell because it's going to have a negative cell potential. But the analysis is the same. We start by finding the SOA, okay? All we got is copper, iron, and water. Uh, we don't have copper two ions. Okay, so these aren't standard half cells. I think we discussed last week, if they were standard half cells, we always get a uh, spontaneous reaction. We always get a positive cell potential. So it's just two pieces of copper, which means we have solid copper, but not copper ions. So we cannot use this as our SOA because we don't have it. We're gonna have to keep going down the list. This is our SOA, okay? All right, we know that the SOA gets uh, reduced at the cathode. Okay, going through, let's find our SRA. So we don't have solid iron. We only have the iron ions. Our SRA is going to be the copper. And that's going to happen at the anode. Okay, in order to get our cell potential, let me write our reduction potentials here. Okay, so I just got those values from my data booklet. All right, to find cell potential, it's cathode minus anode. Remember, we are expecting a negative value here because this will be an electrolytic cell. Okay, a couple things to talk about here. I purposely didn't put a little circle up here because it's not a standard cell potential because if, this, if these were standard half cells, you would never get a negative. If you see a little circle here, uh, it's not a big deal. I wouldn't mark anything wrong if I saw that. But again, these aren't standard half cells because if they were, you would never get a negative cell potential. The big thing I want to talk about is that this tells you the minimum voltage that must be applied to the cell. Basically, across the electrodes to make electrons to move uh, from anode to cathode, okay? Oops. I'll make that exciting. So, if we add 0 0.79 volts to two pieces of copper in an iron 2 solution, we'll get electrons moving, all right, from one copper electrode to the other. One of them's the anode, one of them's the cathode. Okay, the anode is going to oxidate or oxidize, okay? It's going to turn into copper 2 ions and slowly corrode. At the cathode, solid iron will be forming, okay, on top of the copper, all right? So this cell would not be used to provide electricity because we have to add to it, but it's a way of getting iron out of the iron two ions. Okay, so we'd be refining iron out of this uh, solution, all right, at the cost of one of the copper electrodes. Okay, so this would be corroding, it would be disappearing, turning into ions but we'd be getting iron out of the iron ions, which I think is pretty cool.